everybody, welcome back to Dissociated. This is a channel that provides education on mental health and tries to destigmatize dissociative identity disorder. Today is quite obviously a little bit of a different video, and that's because we are now in the month of October. I know that for some people, the subject of the holidays at the end of October can be triggering, and if these are, then this video might not be for you. There are lots of other videos you can click on, you can find them up here that might be better suited to you for today. However, if you do think that this video is applicable to you then stay tuned and we are going to have a chat about dressing up for the holidays, consent and the issues regarding it. Halloween. It's one of the biggest events of the year and lots of people tend to go out and have a few too many drinks. It's become increasingly common as the years have gone on for people to wear shorter and shorter skirts, more provocative outfits and occasionally just use the holiday as an excuse to be a little bit more outrageous than they normally would be and that is absolutely fine. However, unfortunately, we do have to bear in mind the kind of society that we live in, and that is a society where lots of people don't understand the meaning of the word no. Today I wanted to talk to you about consent. This holiday is supposed to be about fun, at least that's what a lot of people use it to represent now. Fun, going out with your friends, an excuse to let loose for a little bit, and it should be just that. I wish I could say that you don't have to worry about being assaulted or somebody touching you where you didn't want to be touched or refusing to leave you alone, but I've had one too many experiences like that and if you speak to pretty much anybody, especially if they're female, then I'm sure you're going to get a lot of the same responses. This is an issue in society and I know that we're doing as much as we can to change it, but until then, please take care of yourselves while you're out. Given the subject of this video, some of you might be expecting me to tell you, oh my goodness, make sure you've got your keys with you, do some research on self-defense moves before you go out, this doesn't matter whether you're male, female, non-binary or anything else. If you feel unsafe, it is good to have something with you. Maybe you're expecting me to tell you, maybe you should buy one of those drink testers that will tell you if your drink's been spiked. Make sure you've got an extra layer of clothing so nobody can ask you what you were wearing. Be hyper aware of everything around you just in case something horrible happens. It shouldn't have to be like this. Something that really gets me, especially around holidays like this, is if you were drinking, people use it as an excuse to waver their responsibility for their actions. In any other circumstance, if you were drinking, for example, you would drink driving, you still have to take responsibility for your actions and it counts negatively towards that. But for some reason, if somebody decides to touch someone while they were drinking or passed out from drinking, it means that it was their fault. Or the excuse, I was drunk, I didn't know what I was doing, is often used as an excuse as well. In these kind of environments, it tends to be the attacker who gets a lot of the power in these situations. I want to change that. I'm not sure how, but I'm working on it. You are always responsible for your actions. It doesn't matter whether it was an accident. It doesn't matter if you read the signals wrong. It doesn't matter whether you were drinking or whether they were drinking or what you were wearing, what they were wearing. It doesn't matter. You are responsible for your own actions. You're not responsible for anyone else's. Wearing a short skirt or a provocative outfit, something that's designed to be alluring to others, is not the same as consent. It's not an excuse and it's not an invitation to touch other people unless you have their explicit consent. And consent is not the absence of a no. Being very, very still or not saying no, that's not consent. Freezing up is not consent. The person you're with looking away and waiting for it to be over is not consent. If they're not struggling, if they're not complaining, that doesn't mean that they're giving you consent. Fight or flight is something that we all know about. It is not unusual for people to go into a state of fright and freeze up. You need to check with your partner or whoever it is that you're with that what you're doing is consensual. Even if it's something as simple as buying them a drink or touching their waist, trying to reach out to touch their outfit or their makeup or their hair stuff. Just because they're wearing something that shows a little bit more skin does not mean that they're inviting you to touch them. A lot of people tend to use it as an excuse of, oh, she was drinking, if she didn't want this to happen or they didn't want this to happen, then they shouldn't have done that in the first place. No, you shouldn't have done that. There is nothing wrong with going out, dressing up and getting drunk. 
there is something wrong with harassing, attacking, otherwise harming another human being. What you are doing has direct actions upon them, their health, their psychological well-being, and probably their future. Someone dressing up and getting drunk, the only thing that that affects is themselves. It's their actions when they're drunk that they need to be responsible for. Alcohol is not an excuse. Drugs are not an excuse. Clothing is not an excuse. Makeup is not an excuse. Unless someone has specifically invited you to touch them and confirmed that that's okay, do not touch them. Some people might say, well, why were they dressing like that if they didn't want attention? Maybe they did want attention, but that doesn't mean they want your attention or your hands on them. Something I think that the world needs to learn as a whole is to communicate better. Communication is so important in every aspect of life and in all your relationships, whether they're romantic, familial, work relationships, therapist type relationships, anything like that. Communication is important. It's exactly the same with strangers when you're on a night out. You can't predict how people are gonna feel about your actions. It's always best to ask. It doesn't take two seconds, just ask. And if you're not asking and you're not checking because you feel like the answer you're gonna get isn't the one that you want, and therefore you're gonna try and get it anyway because you can't say that they said no, you should reflect on what kind of a person you think that that makes you. Using others for your own benefit is not a good trait. There is no time when you're too old or you've been doing something for too long that means you can't stop and say, I don't like this. You can change your mind about anything at any time, no matter what the situation is. I've said this before, but I'll repeat it again. Nobody is entitled to you. Nobody is entitled to your mind. Nobody is entitled to your body. And nobody is entitled to your time. It doesn't matter what their relationship to you is. The only person you belong to is yourself. You make the rules. You make the rules about how people can touch you, how people can interact with you, and how people can approach you. Halloween and holidays like this where you might be dressing a little bit differently, people might try and use it as an excuse to say, well, so-and-so this, so-and-so that, changes nothing. Those rules are the same. You write your own rules when it comes to yourself and your body and your mind. If anybody breaks them, that is their problem. It is not your issue to fix somebody who can't understand basic human decency. If something happens and you didn't consent to it, it is not your fault. And like I said, it doesn't matter what gender or sex you are. We all need to learn to be more compassionate and aware of other people's feelings and to stop using occasions like Halloween as an excuse to be cruel or manipulative. If you see somebody approaching someone and doing something that doesn't seem right to you this Halloween, or you see somebody getting harassed, it can be so tempting to just be like, oh, I don't wanna get involved, it's none of my business please say something. Even one word can be a ripple in the water. It can start a domino effect that makes people reconsider what they're doing and why they're doing it. Some of these people may never have been confronted before, but as always, your safety is the first priority. Please be safe this season. Remember to respect the people around you and know that your choice of clothing does not represent your consent. It doesn't matter if you're wearing a shirt that comes all the way down to here. It doesn't matter if you're wearing a strip of cloth. It doesn't matter if your skirt is pulled all the way up. It doesn't matter. Assault has nothing to do with clothes. Assault and rape was a thing back in the 1700s and before when women wore dresses all the way down to their ankles and were completely covered from the neck down. This is not a new issue. Consent has nothing to do with inebriation and it has nothing to do with your choice of clothing. It has everything to do with predators and everything to do with humanity. We need to start teaching children about consent younger and earlier. This is not an issue that should be happening in this day and age. It should not be difficult for somebody to accept another person's word at face value. You should not have to explain to somebody why you've chosen the word no. No is a full sentence and you never need to explain yourself. If something doesn't feel right, you can say no. You don't need to have a specific reason. If your gut is telling you something's wrong, you can listen to it. That's okay. I hope that this video might inspire you all to be a little bit kinder and more communicative to the people around you. But I hope that you have a wonderful celebration, no matter if you're celebrating Halloween or Samhain or anything else. Lots of love, everybody. Bye.